Hey guys, John here from Johnston Custom Guitars, uh, bringing you a quick review of the Johnston Custom T Master or Telemaster style guitar. Um, this one is in Lake Placid Blue Nitro Lacquer with Nitro Clear on it. Um, it is a string through uh, two piece red alder body and it is a slightly modified version of a Telemaster or Jazzmaster, Telecaster, hybrid, mutant, baby of a guitar. So this one is uh, a little bit thinner, so it's a little bit lighter weight. Um, it is a little thinner on the top, so you can see there, if I can get it in the right correctly, the belly cut is, is very comfortable. The armrest is very comfortable. The hip pocket is a little bit deeper, so it rests on your hip very nicely. It's very balanced. Traditional um, Telecaster style heel, uh, Telecaster hardware, and a rear route for Telecaster. So it's it's very much uh, the same. It's very much normal. The only difference is that you've got the, the control panel that's accessible on the back of the guitar. So it keeps the front of the guitar a little bit more resonant. Uh, you may or may not hear much tone differences there, but sustain wise, I think it does add a little bit to it. Um, custom made pick guard, this one has a little bit of a chip out of it. Uh, again, it's been discounted for, for those reasons. It's a, a prototype guitar, guys. Uh, this is something that I put together to see if this would be a model that I wanna continue making or uh, now that Fender has come out with it, uh, I wanted to see if I could kinda make my spin on it and uh, I think I did a pretty good job on this guy. Um, it's uh, got a V-neck, 22 fret maple board, uh, 6150 frets. These are medium jumbo frets if you're not familiar with that. It's a very nice spread. It's not too thin, not too big. The V-neck helps you reach very well. It's very fast. It has a light relic aged process done to this guitar. So there's a little bit of chips and nicks around the guitar, a little rough around the edges but the top and the back are a mirror finish so it will age and uh, wear nicely to your plain style. The neck it has been tinted to uh, amber but it does have most of that finish removed off the back so it is very fast. Uh, it has single safety line Cluzon tuners with the white button and uh, this is the safety post style and it has a matching headstock that has been aged and a Johnston Custom logo and a bone nut that was cut for this guy as well. Nickel hardware, uh, brass barrels, uh, saddles, again, uh, string through. The pickups are custom McNelly custom pickups from Canada. These are P90 pickups in the size of a Telecaster style. Uh, route so uh, they have adjustable pole pieces. They are very nice balanced pickups They're not too hot. They're not too soft But they still give a jangle and the brighter end to a tele style guitar, but also the very uh, Sonic capabilities of getting a jazz master very single note defined um, push to them and if you adjust some of these pole pieces and get your amp right uh, with a few pedals and things, these things will really bark. Um, so it could be a rock machine, it can be uh, country or blues or whatever you're playing. I feel like these pickups could handle it very well and they're in a small footprint on the guitar. So if you wanna add a pickup later on or different configurations, you can. This has got a typical um, Tele style three-way switch, it's a Grisby switch, and CTS pots, uh, volume and tone and uh, cloth pushback wiring like I do with most all of my guitars. And this has a 33 capacitor in it. So um, the, the 33 gives you a little bit warmer sound, uh, but not as warm as like a 47 capacitor, but not as bright as a 22 or a 15 or a one. Um, so it, it does give you kind of the best of both worlds. I like that. Uh, if you don't, then um, you know, you can change it out. These things are like hot rods. You can modify them, change them however you'd like to. So enough of that. Now you have the specs. Uh, it is, uh, you know, a wonderful guitar, I think. Uh, this one is, is not 
you know, a, a production model for me as of, as of yet. I've done a few of these over the years, but this is one that I try to, uh, you know, a little bit differently. But I think all in all, it's a beautiful guitar. It plays really well. And I've tried it with my live rig. Um, I think it will suit any player. Um, that's one thing that I do as a player and, and a guitar nerd. I check out all my gear. I play it through a real live rig, not in a smoky bar or anything, but I do want to make sure that it you know, reacts well to pedals and it does react well to an amp. Um, so I'm coming straight out of this um, Switchcraft output jack with a tweed cable into my trusty Fender Excelsior amp. And without do, this is the bridge pickup. So it's bright. Get that telly pop. So you get that really nice telly sparkle to it, but you can get some growl. back a little bit gets you some some nice tones there uh, the tone volume is very active in this guitar so it can it can get very bluesy covered up quite a bit. Uh, it's very active. It's not quite the train whistle Danny Gatton style one meg, uh, but this one is very active. So it does make it a little fun to uh, to play with those. Uh, these 250k mini pots that, that are coming through the body are, are very reactive. Um, the middle position you get a nice quack and with that you can you can, again, uh, work with a lot of different styles of music. So with that, um, the, the neck pickup is a reverse wind, so you do get hum canceling between the two. And then the neck pickup is very bluesy. It's almost strat tone twite uh, style. You can you can get very nice tones out of this. <laughs> for the bad notes um, it's a great guitar I think uh, this guy is is very um, you know it, it's a lot of bang for the buck uh, you get kind of the best of both worlds and it is uh, it is a lot fun to play it, it's lighter uh, I, I don't feel like this would be a, a problem a big you know problem with a lot of these the offset style guitars that some folks uh, bring up and I and I'm a big fan of offsets. Um, I love my jazz masters and I love Jaguars and I love telemasters um, But some people have this you know problem with this big honking body that they have to kind of weigh out and um, That's one thing that I tried to tackle with this one a little bit and I think it I think it helped and Again, if you're sitting down, it's got a really nice hip pocket. It's very balanced. There's no you know issue there whatsoever so um, pick it up from my Reverb store. If you like it, it comes with a nice molded um, hard shell SKB offset case. So it's specifically designed for offset guitar. So it fits just like a glove in it. And again, uh, if you have any other questions, if I haven't answered anything about this guitar, please let me know. Um, 
it's uh, it's available right now. I think it would make someone a great guitar. And again, I've, I've kind of put it through the paces with different pedals and different amps, and uh, I feel like it would make someone a great studio guitar and a great live guitar. Uh, definitely something that would add to the arsenal if you're if you're a ver versatile guitar player playing a lot of different styles of music. This this would be a great pickup for you. And again, it's like a hot rod. You can add a pickup to it, or you can change out this pick guard, or you can uh, you can beat it up even more with the nitro um, lacquer on it. You can make it as relic or as you know cool as you want. Um, but I, I think either way, it's a good pickup. Uh, good buy. So anyway, this is John from Johnston Custom Guitars again. I'm sorry about the long video, but I've been, you know, had some folks asking me about this one for a while. Um, I initially put it out there um, to try to, you know, recoup some expenses on, on the cost of designing and materials and so on. But now um, I've set it price to move and I think it'd be a great guitar for someone. So until next time, ask any questions if you like. We'll see you then.